Welcome. In today's session, I would like to explain to you how to use the pipeline in Windows PowerShell. The pipeline is an elegant or simple solution that you can use to string together multiple commands, or in other words, you can use it to execute multiple commands at the same time. As already mentioned, Microsoft specifies the pipeline as being more elegant way to write PowerShell. And it uses less memory because the output is streamed and the code that you'll have to write is way shorter. When should we use the pipeline? Well, we can use the pipeline to run multiple commands. We can also format the output of the command in the way that we would like it to be. Uh, we can filter the output of the command and we can act on an object. Uh, we can do something with the object or with the output. We can use the pipeline to run other commandlets. In this example, we are using the commandlet get a service to create an object and then <clears throat> we're using the pipe to run a second commandlet to restart the service object that we've just specified. We can use the format table to output information as a table. This is the default pe uh, behavior of PowerShell. Um, so if you don't specify anything um, or how you would like the output to be formatted, it will format it for you as a table. The alias that can be used uh, for format list or format table is the FT. We can also format um, the information as a list. The alias for that is FLT. Another way uh, that works pretty similar to the format table is the select object. Um, and you can specify the object properties that you would like to display. And the alias for that is select. We can use the where object statement to filter data that has been streamed by the pipeline. Um, the alias that we can use for this statement are the where or just an exclamation mark. Okay, this is an example of the where object statement. Um, we are getting a process and then piping it to a where object is name like edge, the wildcard edge. Another way of doing that is just specifying the where instead of the where object. Or we can use the alias exclamation mark. So the specifying get process, typing it, then just using the, uh, ex the question mark, and then calling like name or name like edge. The pipeline streams the information into the um, dollar underscore uh, well, pipeline variable. Um, from here you can use it in either the where object or the for each object um, statements. This is an example on how to use the variable. Um, in this example we are getting a service, we are specifying where object, then we are calling the variable dollar underscore and we're calling the proper property dot name and we're matching it if it has a win in that. We can use the for each object loop to act on every single object that has been returned by the pipe. And this is an example on how to do that. We specify the for object and the command that will execute. And another way is to um, use the export to a uh, CSV file. Uh, we would format the data beforehand and then output it as a CSV file using the commandlet export CSV. I'm sure there are way more um, ways of acting on objects, but these are the ones that I've been using. Okay, let's wrap this up with a couple of examples in PowerShell ISE. Okay, I've opened Windows PowerShell ISE and I'd like to start off with demonstrating how to use a single pipe with running commandlets. What I'm doing or going to do is I'm going to call a service or get service. The service name is called Spooler and I'm going to, going to restart that service with the pipeline. So if I run this, it runs without any problems. The 
to get this to work, you need to be logged on as administrator. Otherwise, it will throw as error messages. Next up, I'm going to get a process called Notepad. That is a program that is open on this machine. And I'm going to kill or stop that process by specifying stop process. OK, that has actually stopped the Notepad process. Up next, I would like to show you how to format um, the output. First of all, I'm going to run this command without any formatting. And by default, uh, PowerShell formats everything as a table. So if we run the same command with format table, you will notice that that is exactly the same as without specifying anything. If we would like to format that as a list, we run the format list output. And there we go. And this is what the list output would look like for the spooler object. Another thing we can do is that if we don't want to specify or get all the information and we just want the display name, we can do that by specifying that after the format table. This is the FT, is the alias for format table. So if I run that, I will only get the display name and not all the information. We can, we can do exactly the same if we run the format list statement, that is the FL. And we just we would just like to see the status and the display name. If I run that, it only shows that the status is running and the display name is print spooler. Okay, up next, I'm going to use the print spooler service again. <clears throat> and I'd like to uh, demonstrate how to format the, the object by using the select object. This works exactly the same as if you would format a, it as a table. So if I run that, you will notice that it's actually the same output as if we would be using the um, select table. And we could spec or we can do that exact same thing. Whereas instead of um, specifying the select object, we just use the alias called select. So if we run that, we get the same information. Okay, the, uh, up next, I'd like to demonstrate how to use multiple pipes. On this one, I'm going to use two uh, two pipes. I'm going to get a service that has the wildcard character win. And I'm only going to get the services where the object status equals to stop, so where the object status is stopped. And after that, I'm still going to format that as a list. So if I execute that, you'll notice that there's only one service that runs with the name win that is stopped currently. To get the same information, we can uh, use the where alias. So instead of using the where object, we use the where alias. If I run that, get the same information. Or we can even use the exclamation. This is another alias that you can use. There we go. Outputs exactly the same information. OK, I'm, up next, I'm going to demonstrate how to use four pipelines. Um, the first one is to format, then uh, we're using the select object, then I'm going to filter that using the where object, and lastly I'm going to export everything as a CSV file. Okay, if I run this command, it doesn't show you anything because it actually ex exports the whole information as a CSV file. It formats it nicely for us with the name, the ID, and the path, and then it only selects the objects that we want, and then it exports it. All right, up next, I'd like to demonstrate how the pipeline variable works. The, pipe, the pipeline. Um, <clears throat> so in this uh, example, we are calling or getting all the services. Then we are specifying where the object name or the variable name matches win, so win. And after that, we're just formatting, formatting it as a table. If I run that, we get all the <clears throat> services that are on this computer that start or that have the word win in it. Now I'm going to do one last example. I'm going to get the WMI object. I'm going to list that. Then I'm going to see where the object has the name like CIM network with the wildcard character 
And then after that, I'm going to format that as a table. So if I execute that, it takes a bit, but the output will give us the information that there's only one service, or one object that has CIM and underscore network in its name. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the session and I'm looking forward to our next one.